Oh, a big fish. Well, I'm just about to my destination. And the destination this time is stopping at a, a hotel here in International Falls, Minnesota, and picking up a gentleman by the name of Rick Galke, who is this year's Chevy Sweepstakes winner. And I believe he has his stepson, Chris, with him. They're in store for something special. We're going up to Pickle Lake, Ontario, where the road stops, actually, at the town of Pickle Lake, Ontario. And then we're flying from there by float plane into a, a remote lake, and we're going to be out exploring on our own and, and seeing what we can do for walleyes and pike. It wouldn't be Rick, by chance. I would be. Hello, Rick. How are you, man? I'm good. Dave Winkleman. I recognized you. Now, when I first got the phone call from Babe, I, uh, I thought it was a prank because I didn't have caller ID in my car. Here's the reason I'm calling. You, sir, are the winner of this year's Chevy Silverado sweepstakes. Uh, you gotta be kidding me there, dude. No, I'm not kidding you at all. It didn't soak in right away that I'd actually won. And then uh, once I realized that I, where I was going, I, uh, all I could think about was was uh, was catching the pike that I always wanted to catch ever since I was a little kid. Now, for those of you who have never taken a flying fishing trip to a secluded, fish-filled Ontario lake, well, boys, you ready for the adventure of your life? <laughs> I hope so. I thought it already started. It did. When we get loaded and soar over pristine wilderness, let me explain the type of trip we're on the way to. In this case, rather than staying at a full service lodge, we'll be taking advantage of the complete freedom on a classic outpost adventure. Big Lake. And our home for the next few days. Basically, you get a big lake all to yourself to explore. Oh get my land legs back. A cabin, food supplies, boats, gas, and whatever else you need. Okay, we're going out to our first spot. Then you're left to go it on your own and explore and however you like. Now. There's one. Oh boy. That's a nice fish. Pickle Lake Outpost uh, is on a heck of a lake here, this North Caribou. Um, it's not a real deep lake, it's not a cold lake, so it warms fast. And it, there's a tremendous amount of shallow water forage for walleyes. So you catch lots and lots of That's a nice eye. I came up here thinking about pike and, and nothing but pike. And you know, we started out on the walleye and we did two days of walleye before we ever even started on pike and uh, and the walleye just fantastic and you see them in the sunlight and they they uh, they reflect and, and oh they're great and I you know they're they're fantastic eating and you just hit them one after another and they they take a certain skill to catch them ah, yeah love it just love it Hey, question, did you enter our Chevy sweepstakes? Yeah, you out there who's watching right now. Well, Rick, what do you think about it so far? Because Rick is the winner for this I year. Entered. <laughs> this is a nice fish here. You might grab the net on this one. I'm glad I entered, I know that. Well, so many people sit there with the attitude, man, I'd never win. Well, if you don't enter, that's a fact. You aren't going to win. Wasn't as big as I thought. The reasons to go to Ontario for an outpost fishing adventure are many, but topping the list is simply to bask in catching so many fish you simply lose count. And that perfectly describes the walleye fishing we're having at Pickle Lake. Tremendous amount of fun. The first day, we didn't really get started fishing until about three in the afternoon. And between then and eight o'clock or 8.30 that night, Rick and I caught over 120 walleyes. You think about that. 
120 walleyes from 3 o'clock until 8, 815 that evening. That was insane. It was fun. You caught a lot of walleyes in your life? I have now. <laughs> hey, now we go. There's a double header. A double. We found most of the walleye shallow. When I'm saying shallow, I'm talking 12, 14 feet and less, all the way up to about three feet of water. In some cases, we could even see them going with their eyes and sat there and ca caught them. Most of them was coming off of a rock pile where it started transitioning to soft bottom or transitioning to sand. Uh, there was walleyes up on the rocks too, but I mean, there, the, there are so many boulders and so forth. If you weren't really experienced as a jig fisherman, you could spend most of your time trying to get your jig out of the rocks. Um, but we got them on the transition lines and that's where they were really, really stacked. I mean, that's a pretty fish. Nice fat, they're not skinny. This thing is a walleye factory. I mean, I, I wish I had a summer in my own boat to come up here and explore because I think that there are bigger fish in here than we caught. For over 30 years, we've done the Chevy sweepstakes and it's one of the highlights of my year every year because number one, I get a chance to fish with people from our audience that are regular viewers that follow us. Good one. Number two, I let them experience something in most cases they could never afford. Here's one. Yes. Ooh, boy, that was a nice walleye too. And try and give them, just blow their mind with the trip of a lifetime, you know, about what they can learn about fishing, how many fish they can catch, what they can see, what they can smell, what they can feel, everything. And, and, and see the joy, see the happiness, see the emotion that comes out of them. Wrap that all together, and it's a wonderful, wonderful time for me as well to watch them and help them. I can hear that drag. Another double. <laughs> I don't even know how many doubles we've had. Nice. The rods we were using for walleye fishing here were St. Croix's Legend Extremes which is the finest single rod, I believe, built by anybody, period. They're so amazing, and it was so much easier because of the rod's ability um, for the guys who weren't as experienced as I was at jig fishing. They'd feel the tap and set the hook and catch them. Boy, is this a fat little male. Look at how fat. Beautiful. This is Ontario gold right here. It's exactly what it is. On day two, we switched it up a little bit, and at Rich's request, Chris and I slipped out to spend some time hammering walleyes together. There you go. Right under the boat, huh? Good yeah. job. Close. Nice fish. Can't tell the difference between this or a rock. I know at first I was initially hesitant to come up here because it's not something I normally do. I'm not the outdoorsy type, and just the thought of just fishing with my dad and the legend that is Babe Winkleman, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. So just having, I feared that if I didn't take up this opportunity, I'd greatly regret it, and I do not regret coming out here. Well, Chris is my stepson, and uh, you know, when I first won the contest, all I was oh, thinking one. about was how much I wanted to come up here and catch a trophy fish for myself and then uh, when I realized that I was allowed to take someone with me, I asked Chris if he wanted to come and he was kind of nervous about it. Then I realized that the trip wasn't all about me anymore, it was about him and when we got here uh, I wasn't so concerned about you know, catching my trophy fish anymore, I was just worried that he would have a good time and I. I'd, found out there was nothing to be worried about. He had a ball. I kind of wanted to put down my rod and just uh, just wa watch him enjoy the, everything and experience it for the first time. Chris is just one of those super nice people. That's your biggest walleye right there. Nice. Super polite, never a negative word, never in anything else. Listen to instruction um, very, very well. You just take it like so. Straight over your head. 
but he just dug into it with a, a enthusiasm and excitement and purely loved every single fish he caught. Oh, right there, see? Yeah. Good fish, too. Decent size. Someone said that you don't put a picture on your wall of your son playing video games. That's kind of how I feel when I step back and watch my son fish, that uh, it, it, it makes me proud. And I, I question why that is, you know? He's just doing something simple and, and uh, just having fun, but yet uh, he's learning the values that I hoped that he would learn. Just give a great shout out and big thanks to my dad, Rick. This is definitely a trip that will stay with me for all my years, hopefully. And I'm just very grateful that I got to spend all this time with you guys, Babe, and my dad. So. Well, Rick, let this be the day that you catch your first big fight. Big one. I would love to see you get one 20 pounds or better. <laughs> Continuing now at Pickle Lake in Ontario, on the last day of our outpost trip, Rich had a goal to go pike fishing and catch the biggest gator of his life. So that's exactly what we headed out to try to achieve. Aha! Good job, I seen you do that one. Yeah. I think I like the spinner blade. Spinner bait. I thought you might. Knowing pike and their movements pretty well, I just began exploring good looking waters while pitching spinner baits on spinning gear. There's one. You know, there's there's so much more to just the fishing when you get up here. The, the whole adventure, it's not just fishing. You know, the, the fishing is awesome and the catching them and uh, <laughs> so much of the fishing is really is the pictures and the memories and uh, and, uh, and the stories that you tell, and, and Babe is such a, a people person, I found out when I got to, to meet him and to know him. Sometimes you might feel a little thump, thump. They'll bump it with their nose. When that happens, drop it back, do erratic things with the bait. Stop and go and do it fairly quickly, but still stop and go and change the speed, direction, action, something that can maybe make them strike. The stories he tells, and uh, he can just go on and on. He's got uh, so many stories to tell, and uh, he's captivating. And, and the thing about him is he listens to my stories too. And you know, mine are, are not nearly as interesting as his, I'm sure, but he loved to hear them, and uh, he loved talking to Chris and meeting Chris. And uh, you know, I found out that, you know, just you know, what a, what a down-to-earth guy he really is. And, and uh, I feel like I've, you know, I've got a new buddy. Well, the thing about Rick and Chris is they had a great, deep-felt passion for fishing, catching fish, and being here. They appreciated everything. They appreciated just seeing the unspoiled shoreline and spotting fish down in the water and everything together, and just giggled like little kids when, when they caught fish. No matter if it was a big one, a medium-sized one, a small one, it didn't matter. They were loving it. And there's nothing I like better than fishing with someone who loves it. <laughs> now, I know you got aunts and uncles and cousins and brothers and stuff like that bigger than you are, you little runt. So our challenge is to figure out what they're doing, Rick. OK. You can go back. Fish. This is nothing. It's just a pike. I shouldn't say it's nothing. I appreciate them, and they fight good, and they're fun, and they're what we're after. Now, in all honesty, if I were looking for world-class pike fishing, Pick a Lake wouldn't be it. It's just not large enough or able to produce enough food to put out big numbers of giant gators. But what it does have for pike is a giant population of smaller fish that are also fun to catch. And it does have the potential to crank out a number of really big guys here and there, too. So though we are having a blast, we're also keeping our fingers crossed that a more memorable pike may strike. I let it drop there. You seen him hit it? Yeah. I let it drop and he hit it. <sighs> That's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, pull out some line. Yeah. I used a little skill to get him. It wasn't just blind luck. I had to finesse him in there. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, have a little bit of gumption to them. Yes. Yes. Would you grab the net for me, babe? That's more better there, sir. Yeah. Yeah, we're improving. That's the biggest pike of the day so far. Well, it's my biggest one ever. Is it? So far, yeah. Thirty-three. Is that right? Mm-hmm. All right. One inch longer than thirty-two. Thirty-two was your record prior to that? No, twenty-eight. Biggest pike of your life. So far. <laughs> so far. Oh yeah. There he goes. But well, here you go, man. Good job. I'm slimy. Well, I don't care. That's what you get for listening to what I told you about following fish and dropping them back. When they're following like that, a change in speed, a change in direction, a change in action will tr sometimes trigger them just exactly like you've seen there. That's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. I still want to come back out here and, and you know get get an even bigger one. So you know I'm I'm still addicted. You know I just I can't get enough. I'm not done. I don't want to leave. As you've seen today, the outpost option is a fantastic way for a bunch of guys, family or group of any kind, to get away and really have a wonderful time fishing in the secluded wilderness. I mean, what were you doing last summer while Rich and Chris were soaring over Ontario's remote wilderness in a float plane? Fighting fish until their arms about to give out? That's your biggest walleye right there. Nice. And catching the biggest fish of their lives. Well, it's my biggest one ever. I never imagined that I could catch walleyes at this frequency, like one fish per cast. I never would imagine that. You're always engaged, you're always catching fish, and it was a lot of fun. But never would I have imagined this frequency of fishing, so definitely something to remember. This was a true getaway where hundreds and hundreds of fish were caught. And that's why I keep going back to Ontario year after year, to experience the best that fishing has to offer. You know, when you think of it, a place like Ontario with 400,000 lakes and rivers to choose from has more to offer than you could ever do in, 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 in 100 or 200 lifetimes. There are always great trips, great fishing, and, and great adventure to be had. The beautiful lakes and everything together make Ontario a fantastic destination. Thanks so much to Chevy Trucks for having made it all possible. So next time you see your chance to enter the Chevy Silverado sweepstakes, if I were you, I'd be sure to do so. Each year somebody's lucky enough to win, so why not toss your hat in the ring and let it be you? I'm Babe Winkleman, thanks for watching, and until next time, everybody, hey, good fishing.